Um, let's we'll start with the snapbacks. As you can see, I have a lot of snapbacks for sale. Um, yeah, let's just dig in. First one that I got today is a starter snap, green underbelt, and it's the New England Patriots. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, the inside is, I wouldn't say perfect. I mean, it has a little bit of, a little bit of head wear, but as far as the outside goes, there's nothing wrong with it. No blemishes, nothing like that. So it's the first one, new one I got today. Um, the second new one I got today was a hat that I already own. Um, it's made by a different company and that is my Carolina Panthers hat. The only difference with this one compared to the other one is that this one has a green underbill and my other one has a gray. Um, I plan on keeping the other one. I personally like the gray underbill more for uh, this specific hat. But uh, yeah, here you go. Panthers, black, green underbill. All right, and those are the two new ones I just got today. Um, everything else you should you should know. Um, Charlotte Hornets. So Charlotte on the back, green underbill. It's made by the GCAP. Good brand. Like I said, one of my favorite brands. Um, this one has a few small imperfections. I would say little holes. It's really going to be hard to tell, but there's two holes right there along the uh, along the seam, right there. I don't know. They're really small. Um, it's just the wool. I've seen this happen on multiple wool hats. They'll just get a little nick, a little hole in it. I don't even know how. Probably from when people tag it, you know, and they pull out the tag, it pulls a little hole. But, um, yeah, besides that, there's nothing wrong with it. None of the stitching, um, none of the actual, you know, hat itself. It's good shape. Um, St. Louis Cardinals, old school. Um, green underbill. Headband's a little, you know, a little discolored. It's made by Twins, Twins Enterprise. Yeah, it's a nice hat, nothing wrong with it on the exterior, pretty much new. Next one, can't believe I'm actually selling this, but I'm actually in the market for a different Kansas City Royals hat. Like I said, I'm, I'm probably the <laughs> most diehard Royals fan that doesn't live in Kansas City, I swear. Um, but yeah, gray, green underbill, it's fresh. Nothing wrong with it. I just want a, a, want a white and blue KC hat with a little bit more done to it. So, putting this up for sale. Never thought I would ever put it up for sale. Um, next one, Miami Hurricanes. Um, this one's like brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. It's got a gray underbill. It's got the dual colored snap. There you go. Next one, another starter cap, green underbill, and it is New Jersey Nets. Um, it's got the Nets stamped, the old school Nets symbol on the side. Again, nothing wrong with this hat at all. Um, not even really much to any discoloration on the headband. You know, good, solid, good, solid starter snap. Um, Duke, Duke Blue Devils, this shit is old school, um, you can tell it's old school because that's the old school front to it where it has like a little point at the end and where the stitching doesn't go all the way down, those are the, the old school snaps do that, um, white, a little discolored, you'll get that with white hats, I mean if it's not brand new it's not going to be pristine white on the headband, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's got the right shape and everything. It's just got that old school tip. Makes it a little bit unique. Blue underbill. Um, next one is uh, St. Lawrence University. You know, the classic, you know, I don't know, block style that the game, you know, the game made this hat. They make these um, college block style hats the most. Again, slightly discolored brim or uh, headband, green underbill. They didn't make a lot, uh, a lot of these, you know, bar-styled hats with the colored vents and, you know, pin and headband or uh, 
brim. They usually just did it like all one color with green underbill. Um, I have a lot of these, but I left most of them in Philly. Um, this is the only one I brought home in this style. Um, my old Green Bay Packers hat. The brim you can see is a little like washed out. I tried cleaning it and it like, I don't know, it kind of splotched it up. And it's got 215 on the bottom. I doubt anyone will buy this, but this is my first snapback that I ever owned. That's why it's pretty rough around the edges. Um, next one, Washington Redskins. Brand new, nothing wrong with it. It's made by Drew Pearson. Um, green underbill. Fresh. I like this. I like this style. Not really common. Common style. But yeah. Um, Florida Gators. You can see original Florida. This is a unique style too, especially the color and the material. It's like. I don't even know. It's real soft, but it's real lightweight also. Um, it's got an orange snap, gray underbelt. This is pretty fresh. I I like this hat personally. But uh Yeah. For sale. And then last one is Denver Broncos. And this is a old school new era cap. Um you can see the old new era symbol in there. Um green underbill, again, slightly discolored headband. But as far as the hat goes, there's nothing wrong with it. Sick, old school logo. But uh, yeah, those are all the snaps that are for sale. Again, just offer away. Um, don't offer me the less than less than 15 or 20. I'm not gonna say which ones are worth more than the others. You'll find out when you ask me. But I'm just gonna say will ball offers below 15, 20 are not gonna be um, attended for. They're just gonna be ignored. Um, so that's what the snaps. Um, again, I just showed you guys these two in the last video that I made earlier. The two Bulls starter t-shirts. You can see starter on the sleeve. This is a large. It's brand new. Um, I'm doing a package deal. This and this Bulls starter t-shirt also in pretty much new condition. That one's definitely brand new. This one I'd say is lightly worn. 9 out of 10 condition. Um, again, it has starter on the sleeve. This is an extra large, so extra large, large. Um, I'm doing 25 shipped for both of these, and that's just like where I'm at right now. If you guys want to buy it, each one individually, it's going to be 10 or 15 plus shipping. Um, I might just do it for 10 plus shipping, to be honest. But I'm trying to sell these for both and give you guys a deal for 25 shipped. So if you guys are a Bulls fan and you like starter, it's a good uh, combo. Um, Crewnecks, this first one is just like a foresty green. I don't know, it's like a green blue. It's a extra large, so it fits like a nowadays large. Um, I wear it, but I figured if someone wants to buy it, go right ahead. It's just plain. I just like the color and I like the fit. Um, Washington Redskins, a fucking battery just died in the middle of the video, so I'm just gonna resume with the crewnecks, it cut off like halfway through, so let me get back to this, um, I'm all over the place now, uh, first one, it's just a foresty, blue-green, all plain crew neck. um, it's an extra large, so it fits like a nowadays large, um, offer away. Next one is a 49ers. The gold has a nice glitter shimmer to it. Has a nice touch. Nothing wrong with it at all. Bada bing, bada boom. Um, next one, Washington Redskins. This one is very cool. Um, it's from 95. It still has the Cardinals on there as like being in the division with them, so you know it's old. Um, it's just like a really cool novelty, novelty shirt. Like this one, as far as condition wise, is like the worst condition I have out of anything I own. I mean, that says a lot 
where this one really isn't even that bad of a condition. It just has the typical like lint balls from being old and has a few like a few stains, you know, a few like stains, minute stains, but I mean honestly it doesn't even bother me at all. Like it shows its age and that's perfectly fine with me. So that one's for sale. Um, 98 New York Yankees World Champs. Um, this one's pretty sick. You know, it has the world, uh, the two towers in it. You know, Detroit Towers. Um, you don't get that, you know, anymore. It's just like things like this. Just you know, can't be made, replicated, anything nowadays. Um, it's brand new. There's nothing wrong with it. The inside is like as soft as it gets. Um, so yeah, one more look. It's a sick. Sick design, I'm just not a Yankees fan. Uh, and the last one, probably my personal favorite, is the Illinois Fighting Illini. Like, this just, I love this design. Um, the only reason, the only reason I'm not keeping this is because it's, uh, it's an extra large. So it fits like a large, but I personally like things that are mediums. Um, yeah, nothing wrong with it. Again, no stains on this one, no rips, nothing at all. Um, yeah, I, I like it. It's it's a really, really good design. I just wish it fit me perfect. I'm really picky when it comes to clothes fitting well. I'm not going to wear something if I don't like how it fits. Um, and the last thing is a old school Reebok jacket. Now this, if you don't think this is cool, then you're crazy. Because, I don't know, the colors on this thing are just like awesome. Um, the design on it, I feel like it's just like classic. Um, it's a small, but I got it in the, the the big section, so it actually fits like a medium. Um, the sleeves fit me perfect; they go all the way, you know, to my wrists. The only thing is, I'd say it's a it's a little short, as in you know, to your waist. Um, I'll show you. I'm a tall and lanky guy. I'm six foot, so. This should give you a good idea if it's gonna fit you right or not. But I mean, honestly, the way it fits me, I would still rock it. I mean, that's just how like jackets are meant to fit. Like my um, my what members only jacket fits exactly the same as this, and that's just how they're supposed to fit. You know, they're they're not supposed to be like big, overdone jackets. But um, yeah, you can see, fits the sleeves just fine. And when it comes down, it just comes down right to your waist, like right, you know, right where your, your pants start. But I mean, honestly, that's where it's supposed to be in my book. Like for vintage clothing, this is how vintage clothing fits. So, yeah, fits like a medium. This is how all my shit fits. So, if you're interested in that, again, there's nothing wrong. There's no stains on this. The material, you can see, this is just a material that gets that type of like, it's not wrinkled at all. It's just like, it just shows, shows its, I don't know, shows its material really. I mean, it's hard to explain. You guys know that maybe if you like press it or steam it, it'll get a little bit, you know, more flat for you, but uh, it doesn't bother me. Like, this is just how the material is supposed to be. But yeah, that's all. Um, again, message me with any offers on anything in this video. If you want more pictures, um, detailed pictures of anything, I'm more than welcome to give them to you. Um, I'm not trying to scam people. I'm not, you know, I'm not trying to like hide imperfections. I, I tried to tell you as quick as I could if there was something wrong with it. So again, if you're interested in something, just let me know. Um, I'll get you whatever you request. I'm willing to work with you. Um, again, don't lowball me, you know, show me show me some respectful offers um, and I'll work with you uh, so that's it guys that was my big for sale vid and I hope you buy my shit because I'm broke <laughs> alright guys peace